afternoon from the Tabernacle of David Prophetic Dance Center in Jerusalem. I want to encourage you today, my greatest life message that the Lord has called me to steward is you are one of a kind. We are not cookie cutter believers that don't have much worth. We're just supposed to go and preach the gospel, which we are. We are to preach the Great Commission, which is repentance and remission of sins in Yeshua's name. But we all have very special gifts that God has ordained for each one of us. We have many gifts and we are to move out with those gifts. I want to encourage you to do that today. And I often talk about how we can feel as if we're swimming upstream because we may feel like, wow, why doesn't anybody else's life look like mine? Intentionally by God, your life doesn't look like anybody else's. The Lord told me many years ago, I have not called you to fit in. Yep, I heard him say that to my heart. I've called you to be a light on a hill. And we are to embrace the uniqueness, and God saved us each for a specific call. We have a very specific destiny in this life, and we need to be true to God. We need to keep moving forward, and I often talk about why do I record my different dance series, etc. Literally, in the dance, as we go step by step, we are moving forward, and I want to inspire people to continue to move your life forward each and every day, no matter what that looks like. The other thing I wanted to talk about is, in the scriptures it says that God is my expectation alone. He is my expectation. Now the word of God tells us to ask, to seek, and to knock. Keep seeking, keep asking, keep knocking. God does miracles right on the spot. But most often, I believe that he is working endurance and stamina and patience, perseverance in us. Because there's things he wants to do in us that can only come to fruition by persistence and perseverance in God. He is building stamina and endurance within us. So he alone is my expectation. And when we realize that our answers are not in man, but in God, we will press in deeper. And, and there, there's, a, there's a freedom in that because when we realize and we accept, God is my answer, not man. He holds all my answers in his hands. We're gonna go running to him and it's exciting because we know that we know that we know who holds the answers for our lives. It's not man. And we can thank God every time a door is shut because God is in control. He is on the throne of my life. And if I believe that he is God alone in my life, when a door is shut that I have knocked on, I can thank God this was not God's door for me. Hallelujah. He's such a faithful father. And we are called to move out on ideas that God gives us. Absolutely, because it's a partnership. And we can pray, Lord, if this is a person or a situation or whatever it is, that is to be in my life. Hallelujah. But if it's not, if they're not, shut that door. So always the word of God says, be anxious for nothing, but in everything with prayer and supplication, Present your request to God, and may the peace of God that transcends all understanding guard your heart and mind in Messiah Yeshua. So if you feel anxious, pray. And the word of God says that we should pray unceasingly. We should rejoice. We should pray. Let's always keep the dialogue, because there's an open heavens over us, whether we feel it or not. The fact is, there is. Nothing separates us from God now that we've received his Yeshua, because he is our sin offering. Before that, it says in Isaiah that God can't hear us because we're living in our sin. We have to make it right with God through Yeshua. He is our bridge back to God. And we can live a life that is holy, pure, wholesome before God. The word of God says that he has given us everything we need to live a holy and pure life because we live in Yeshua and he lives in us. And that can only be 
if you said, Father, I turn away from my sinful lifestyle, and I realize Yeshua is my sin covering. He went to that execution stake, that cross for me. And now I am born again, born anew, born of the Spirit. And he lives and breathes and has his being through me. And the same power that rose Yeshua from the dead now lives in me. That is great, great, mighty power. And Yeshua said, I would do greater things. You would do greater things than he ever did. So he said it, I believe it, and that settles it. God bless you. Go with God today. Let's continue to run our race, our one-of-a-kind race, in Messiah Yeshua. Blessings from his holy city, Yerushalayim.